look, there's already a thresher. Yep. That's the first live thresher shark I've ever seen in my life. Just cruised past so casually. Oh God, it's above us. It's just above us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This week's lecture, just to recap, I'm here in the Red Sea trying to understand more about the marine megafauna here. I've been teaching you guys for a few weeks now about animal tracking. So the principle is that you attach these tags, they collect a load of data, and at the end of a predetermined period, in our case a year, the tags come off, bob up to the surface and transmit all their data up to a satellite. It's worth saying that this has never been done in the Red Sea before. We can't really conserve these species properly until we have this information. See, in principle, that should be quite deep all the way through there, shouldn't it? I mean, it goes all the way up to, like, the Gulf of Aqaba. So, we should be in a big river of sharks. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're encountering less sharks than all the rest of the people on the expedition who are not looking for sharks. Almost suggests we don't know what we're doing, except we do. It's just that it's hard. We could chum ourselves, we could strap fish <laughs> all around our BCDs and go for a dive. Just like, oh! Seriously, though, might be... Might be it, worth it, it just for lols. Worth to try. <laughs> for lols, yeah. For lols. It was worth it. Push. <laughs> <laughs> See, they're only seeing sharks as well. Seeing sharks is one thing, catching them is another. That is very true. So they're all like, oh, we've seen a shark, and we're like, well, that's 10% of the battle. We're aiming for 100%. Fishy life jacket. Fishy life jacket. Binoculars. GPS. Got the map. And. Pen that works. Yeah, fantastic. Now just to find some megafauna in the Red Sea. Some animals that we've been looking for in the waters of Neom are what we call megafauna, so like the really cool big stuff. And one of the reasons that we want to find these animals is because they're really good indicators of healthy ecosystems. So sharks, for example, only live on coral reefs that have a bunch of fish on them that they can eat. So if you've got a shark present on your, on your reef, it suggests your reef's pretty healthy. And what we really want to do is attach tracking tags to these animals so that we can actually study exactly how they use these reefs. And so we do that both while we're here in Neom's waters, but also for the rest of the year, because animal tracking tags stay attached to animals for long periods and carry on reporting data back to us so we can find out exactly what they're up to, where they go, and how important Neom's waters are to them. Ha <laughs> ha 